In this session, we will learn about numbers. There are two basic types of numbers in Python, integers and floats. Simple numbers without decimal points have data type integer represented by int. It includes all the natural numbers. Second category is float, which includes number with decimal points. Int and float here are called data type of these numbers in Python. So the numbers without decimal points have data type int and numbers with decimal point have data type float. All operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division can be performed on numbers. For multiplication we use asterisk sign. Numbers can be added like 2 plus 3. Numbers can be subtracted like 50 minus 20. They can be multiplied by using asterisk like 1.2 asterisk 5.8. And numbers can be divided as 40 divided by 2. And result of all these expressions will be stored in variables. What are variables? Variable is a name assigned to number and it is a name of that particular memory location in which that variable is stored. You can give variable name of your choice. It can be anything. We can use assignment operator equals to assign numbers to variables. Here we have created a variable name 20 and assigned number 20 to it. So now this variable will contain value 20 and can be used anywhere in the code. Similarly, here we have created a variable named 50 and assigned number 50 to it. We can use these variables in expressions. So now instead of writing numbers in an expression, I can use variable names. Here in this example, I have created a variable sum and store result of expression 20 plus 50 in it. So, so now some variable will contain number 70 as it is the result when we add 20 and 50. We can also assign negative numbers to variables. Like here I have assigned negative 80 to variable name negative. Now let's see what actually is happening in computer memory when we make a variable and assign any number to it. Everything that we do in Python has a memory location. You can think of memory location as a series of empty blocks which can store values. So when I make a variable and assign some number to it, it stores that number in a random block of memory of its choice and name that memory location as variable name. So in this example, where I have assigned number 50 to variable sum, it will store 50 in some random block of memory and name it sum, as you can see in the memory block. This description is to make your concept stronger so that you can get an idea of how things are working in background in computer's memory. Similarly, in this example, where I have assigned number 20 to variable name 20, it will store 20 in some other random block of memory and name it 20, as you can see in the memory block. We need not to explicitly define the data type of variables as we have to in many other languages like C and C++. Python automatically sets the data type of variable by looking at the value of variable. To write in power, we can use double asterisk. So, two double asterisk three gives eight, that is, it multiplied 2 3 times. 
Similarly, 6 double asterisk 2 gives 36 as it multiplied 6 2 times. Now let's jump into code editor and write some code. 